Good morning. Hello, it's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. I just woke up. It's about, well, it's exactly 7.50 a.m. here on Saturday, the wrong day I've got here in front of me, <laughs> Saturday the 14th of um, April. I forgot to bring my paper down. Uh, so I just actually woke up <laughs> and was inspired to come outside. It's just gorgeous morning here. Um, so I don't have my paper, so I just have to lock it into my brain <laughs> that it's Saturday the 14th and Sunday the 15th of April. So I trust that you're feeling good. Hi Jackie. Hi Chelsea. You caught me just before a nap. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, excellent. Hi Claudia. Namaste to you. Um, so thanks for joining me today. Extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much. Your support helps me be able to bring these sorts of videos out to you and to others. So thanks so much. Good morning, Carol Ann and Amanda. Lovely to see you. Hi, Ruth. Good morning to you as well. So if you're new to watching, what I'm going to be doing is using my Speed of Light Oracle cards. I'll be pulling one card for Saturday, the 14th of April, one card for Sunday, the 15th of April, and one card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. Just take on board what feels right and let the rest go. I trust you've been led here for a reason. Please keep in mind, if you're new to watching, that I don't do personal readings or personal guidance here on my live videos. Um, this is general guidance for everyone. So you will know if, it, if it's information you need to hear because it will make sense to you. It will resonate with you. It will seem like I'm talking directly to you when I have no idea what's going on for you right now. So that's the sort of stuff that... Um, you know, is the stuff that you probably want to really pay attention to. Good morning, Tammy and Marguerite. Hi, Danielle. Good morning to you too. Hi, Annette, who says, good morning. So glad to catch you live. Namaste. I'm glad you caught me live too, Annette. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, Julie from England. So let's get started. Um, let's go. Let's see what wants to come up for Saturday. If it's not Saturday for you yet, you can think of this as guidance in advance. Um, I did a little bit of a guidance video for Friday. It was more healing guidance. Um, so if you're inspired to have a look, if you haven't seen it yet, please have a look in my video library on my Facebook page or on my website. And on that note too, if for some reason Facebook boots you out or boots me out, um, or you can't access my videos on Facebook, or you haven't seen my videos for a while and you can't find my stuff, or if you take a break from Facebook, um, please keep in mind that I do share back all of my videos, my guidance videos, back to YouTube, to my YouTube channel, Temple of Balance, and then I share that back to my website. So if for some reason Facebook goes poof, or I go poof, or anything happens here, um, you can find me on YouTube and that's where I'll start live streaming if Facebook does drop and um, you can always find it back on my website too. So just remember those resources um, if for some reason you can't find me on Facebook or you want a break from Facebook. So you know, good night <laughs> Nina from Finland. Good night to you. Um, hi Michelle, hi Kita. So the best card for Saturday, the 14th of April, which means it's exactly one month until my rebirth day on the 14th of May. So now's where I do start doing serious releasing, ready for my rebirth day. So the best card for Saturday is this here. We've got stag, card 49. And the keywords say... Lost, help, guide, 
path and discouraged. So stag, this stag has a bit of a sadness to him. Um, he feels sad and alone to me. And some of us may feel that, at least for some of Saturday. Not all of us. Some of us may still be feeling quite joyous and quite uplifted. So we might travel past this energy. But for the majority of us, we need to know this. That we might be feeling a little bit alone, withdrawn, sad. There are other cards in the deck that talk about being withdrawn. Um, but this is more of a sadness or feeling discouraged, feeling lost on our path on Saturday. So this is all part of our mindset. Um, the stag brings emphasis to the antlers here, which to me is our mind energy, represents our mind energy. So it would pro most likely be our mindset, our attitude, our approach, our insecurities, something connecting with our mind that is making us think that we're lost or think that we've lost track or that we've taken the wrong path. We might be taking things a bit too personally at this time on Saturday. So let, we might be quite easily offended. So let's be careful we don't take things too personally as well. But the good news with this is, is that it is part of our mindset. If we can step past the denial of that, because sometimes we don't want to see that it might be part of our own doing that we're in a lost space. There may be elements or people or situations that have stacked up kind of against us. But it is our mindset that holds us in that lost, discouraged, we've gone off our path kind of thinking. So we can do something about it on Saturday. Once we realize that our mind is quite intimately involved with these fit sorts of feelings and we can start working with we can start doing something working with our personal power increasing that to start getting out of that negative mindset so let's remember a few truths here first of all we can never ever be off our path because our path is kind of glued under our feet we can never run too fast or walk on our hands or um there's nothing that we can do that can make us be off our path because it's our path. It's always under our feet. However, our mind can make us think that we took a wrong path, we took a wrong side track somehow, we, that our path is over there and we're over here. How can we get back over there to our path? Our mind makes us think that we're separate from our path when our mind's not working with us. It's a mindset. So let's recognize our mindset that may be making us think that we did something wrong or we took a wrong turn or we're on the wrong path. We cannot ever be on the wrong path. So basically we're out of alignment with our path if we think that way. So let's tap into the truth that we know in our heart. Our mind will tell us something different sometimes. So let's recognize what that difference is, what's out of alignment, and how we can take some steps to get back into alignment with that path that's right under our feet. The path that never went anywhere. Just our mind made us think that it did or that we did. So try your, uh, perhaps do your best to support and nourish yourself throughout Saturday, especially if you're feeling lost or alone or you're grieving or you're in a really sad discouraged place support yourself through it through gentleness being kind and gentle with yourself and just taking your time with things be careful you don't overbook yourself to try and um, ignore what's really going on but make some time to nurture and support yourself get back in charge of your thoughts whenever i'm feeling really active mentally and my mind's just not working with me but it's working in overdrive i try i tend to do something quite physical because i find physical activity um tends to get those mind thoughts almost uh, run out so uh like through activity running them out of my mind 
uh, wearing them out. So I might go for a brisk walk, I might go for a jog, I might um, do a massive clean out of my house or a massive time in the garden to just kind of physically get myself active to help wear those mind thoughts out. Once those mind thoughts are worn out, then I can look at, okay, how can I start shifting gears now? When we're running full speed mentally, in a downward spiral, if you like, it's very difficult to suddenly put the brakes on and start switching our attitude. So I, f I find things like um, a period of activity, physical activity, maybe for half an hour or an hour or a few hours, um, I find that gives... Uh, where's my mind out enough for me to put the brakes on and start turning my thought process or my attitude into a different direction so remember tap, tap into the truth of your heart rather than the illusion that may be playing out in your lower mind so that's Saturday quite a an intensely emotional card but with with um, knowing that we have the power to turn this around so you might have all the reasons in the world why you feel sad or why you feel discouraged or why you feel burdened or alone right now. There may be every, you may have very valid reasons for it. But those reasons aside, how long do you want to hold yourself in that uncomfortable, uh, heavy space? Excuses and reasons aside, start taking the driver's seat again start taking hold of the steering wheel and steer yourself back on track so no reason there can be no reason really that's loud enough for us to lose ourselves and if we do lose ourselves for a little bit um, then let's just nourish and support ourselves through that time I mean there are going to be intense days like intense days of grief for example what the heck is my thing doing? I have no idea. Something weird's going on. Um, I think I'm still streaming. Um, yeah, like if something's really new and intense and we're in a really uh, sad, intense space, and that can happen any time, like through grief, grief, for example, is probably um, a great example, then all we can do really is just get through our days sometimes. So be gentle with ourselves and know that this sadness is a part of that experience and a part of our healing and adjustment or learning from that experience. So I trust that makes sense and is helpful for you. Thank you so much. Hello, Claudia. Lovely to see you. Chelsea says it's fine here. No problem. Okay great <laughs> yeah I don't know sometimes weird things happen don't they with these technologies so thank you I am now looking for the best card for Sunday the 15th of April so Sunday the 15th take a nice deep breath and we'll go with this card for Sunday here Oh, we're moving from sadness into gratitude. This is card five called Sacred Haven. And the key words say gratitude, connect, reflect and stand still. So this is saying that Sunday is very favorable for us to stop and smell the roses, if you like, or stop and count our blessings to stop and practice gratitude even if we just find five minutes ten minutes in our day on Sunday that this feels to be very supportive and beneficial for us um, anytime really but especially on Sunday to practice our gratitude to look at what is working for us and perhaps this is part of that lifeline to help those of us who may be feeling a bit lost or alone to help us kind of move out of that space and start shifting gears. Gratitude is a great way to shift gears. So once we've stopped that um, uh, high speed mental activity that we're spiraling down into, once we stop that in the way that works for us, for example, through a little bit of physical activity, can bring us back to neutral, put the brakes on that, to help us switch gears 
practicing gratitude can be a great way to do that, to start getting the momentum going in a more positive direction. So really looking at being genuinely grateful. There's no point flapping off our, uh, with our mouth or mentally things that we're grateful for that we're not really grateful for, but we think we should be. Where we need to really feel the gratitude genuinely. So if you don't feel grateful for someone at that moment, for whatever reason, you may have had a bit of a disagreement or something, you might be clashing right now. If you don't genuinely feel grateful for them right there and then, don't say that you're grateful for them, even though you probably feel that you should be. You might be just going through a bit of an adjustment or something may have happened that is just shifting the dynamics a little bit. So you can come back and feel grateful for them later when you genuinely feel it. So if you can't find anything to be genuinely grateful for, then take it back to basics. Your survival, for example, that you've woken up today, that you're here breathing, that you're alive and well, perhaps, or that you're alive. You may not be feeling particularly well, but you're alive and there's a lot of others that you've loved before that don't have this opportunity to be alive right now. And as much as that might make people put, fall into sadness, like I mentioned in a video last week, I find that a great motivator in helping me shift gears is the honour of walking this path and breathing this air on behalf of all of those that I've loved before. That they are my team, my cheer squad right now at this time helping me make the most of my life on behalf of them. So we're breathing right now. That is certainly something to be genuinely grateful for. So think about stripping back and really starting with the basics of gratitude. If you're struggling, 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 I could make a new word there, couldn't I? It is very typical of Australians. We do like to make new words up. Um, but, uh, you know, finding something to be grateful for, looking at the glass half full rather than the glass half empty also focusing on a solution rather than dwelling on the problem are all parts of what we're talking about with this card so connect stand still practice your gratitude open your arms and and really feel the magic of being alive in this moment it is such a precious gift such an honor to be alive right now in this moment I'm so honored and feeling so grateful right now to have this opportunity to stream and connect with all of you from all over the world with Shauna who's here and Julie's here and I see Helen our friend who came to our retreat is here watching and anyone else it is what a great honor it is to have this ability through my internet connection through my phone itself to be sharing here right now with you that's a complete honor and something that I'm feeling extremely grateful for I feel grateful for listening to these birds and having these birds singing and flying past all around me for having my house that I've created as my home as my shelter as my safe place for sharing my life with my beautiful husband and children and my extended family and friends who are there. So there's much to be grateful for, not just on Saturday, but always. So quite a simplistic um, energy that's coming through really compared, well, can, if we look back and compare it a little bit to what has been coming up has been very um, strong, specific energy that's really uh, been focused around focusing and forward movement and um, getting ourselves out of a rut, starting a new hobby, um, starting the wheel turning. But this weekend feels to be um, getting back to basics um, and a sense of simplicity. So we don't make things too complicated but just kind of gently move through our weekend and what we're dealing with throughout our weekend. So let's look now for the theme card. It's very glary here, so I can't see your comments. Oh, the sun's popping over the balustrade there. Hi, Rebecca. 
Hi Anna who says good night. If you're leaving, have a wonderful sleep. Hi Claire. Okay, the best card for the theme and I uh, the <laughs> I'll start again. The theme card I see as helping us see the bigger picture and bringing these days together. So let's see what the theme is for this weekend. What are your plans for the weekend? Do you have plans or are you just going to let things happen? I've got a couple of plans and I'm going to flow around those things. Actually, I really only have two plans. I'm going to be doing some ceramics this morning with my daughter and tomorrow I've got a band gig at the Richmond Fair. If you're in the Hobart area, I'll be at the Richmond Fair. Uh, uh, I'm not sure of the time. Around 11 o'clock I think our concert band's playing. Aside from that, I'm just going to trust in how I feel and let things flow and move in accordance with what I need in those moments. So the best card for the theme, I trust, is this here. I can't see anything. Oh, here we go. It's Wolf. Card 44. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing somewhere that it's a new moon. On the 16th, was it? So it is, um, a, there's an important, if you like, or uh, an important moon cycle at this time. So this brings highlight to the moon. But let's read this card's information and then we'll talk more about it. It says instincts moon cycles flow and trust this talks about us being a lot of us being in a period of change but this is not like a typical the doors closing and something's coming to an end kind of change and a new doors opening sort of change I mean some of us may be going through that but this cards highlighting our cycles of change and moving through things in a cyclic way so uh, like as we go from day to night, like as we go from season to season where we can feel a, a um, usually quite a distinct yet subtle shift in our cycles and shift in the movement of our life journey, our life experience. Our life is full of cycles that we cycle through. Like as a woman, I guess, um, in my fertile years not that I'm having not that I'm having any more children um, but we also go through our cycles and I'm sure a lot of us do without um, you know physically realizing that we do so we're talk um, this is talking about going through or we are going through a lot of us a cycle of change this weekend we may feel a little bit different this weekend than we have felt all week or that we have felt all year um, that's because we're going through a little bit of a, a shift in our energy, a little bit of a cycle of change and that that's okay. Cycles of change happen. It's just like the tide pulls in, uh, pulls water in or pushes water in <laughs> and pushes water out and that movement, that ebb and the flow of the tides. So it's constantly moving in and out just like we go through our day and our night. We go through our cycles of being awake and being asleep. But the moon also pulls on the waters, meaning that sometimes we have high tides or um, king tides where the tides are higher than uh, typically throughout that month. And really ultra low tides where the moon's pulling on the water and we have those really kind of um, lower than normal tide pools so that's part of what I'm talking about is with these cycles and this fits in really well with what I was talking about yesterday in the video for Friday about going with the flow so perhaps that was without me realizing it um, like an introduction or um, yeah, introducing us to the weekend of cycles. So as we get more into the flow, then we can roll with those king tides and roll with the lowest of low tides and then move also with the tides as they kind of get back into uh, some sort of normal. So we may be feeling a little bit out of sorts, a little bit different over the weekend. That's part of the cycle, this kind of shift that we're going through at this time. So let's flow with it. Let's move with it. Let's trust our instincts, trust our intuition and trust how we feel. I, I have this strong feeling that it may be wise for us 
to not fill up our weekend with too many obligations and too many things that we need to do. There's a sense of things needing to be really basic and simple and just tending to the things we have to do, the things that we have committed to and keeping everything in between kind of free so we can move about a little bit more freely so that we're not as constricted. It feels like, you know, wearing loose clothing and being a little bit more uh, free to move rather than if we fill everything up, all our minutes in our weekend, we may feel a bit restricted or a bit tight or a bit kind of bound up. There's this sense of feeling like free spirits over the weekend so we can deal with what we deal with and move to the next feeling and flow with that. So let's do this free flowing free spirit kind of dance as best as we can over the weekend keep things basic and simple um, and just move through these things as best as we can those tight the tide as it ebbs and flows and moves in and out let's do that with ourselves our mood how our body feels will also be a big part of that movement so we might find we go get quite moody we might have moments where we're like now the wind's just started, starting to get up um, and sometimes our mood gets up. We might have suddenly this um, anguish or suddenly this anger that flows forward for us. So instead of being constricted in what we're doing, we might, may find it better to be in a free flowing space so that we can say, hey, I'm feeling angry here and I don't want to be around people because, you know, I don't want to snap. I don't want to make... Uh, affect their day in a negative way so it, part of that free flowing might be to acknowledge the anger and to step outside into our workshop or to go for a walk or go for a drive or do something creative or explore that anger so that's kind of what I'm feeling being um, a bit of a free spirit this weekend so that's the guidance that's the theme card but that's the guidance for the weekend i trust it makes sense to you i can't see any comments unless i kind of um move in close because it's extremely glary i think the sun's yeah the sun must be right here so i will read all of your comments when i get back onto my computer i always read everyone's comments unless you comment on something from months ago because I don't have notifications turned on for my page, pages. <laughs> I like to have some sort of sanity rather than getting pinged every couple of seconds. So I come back into my page and I always read your comments, which is why I like and acknowledge your comments. I'm liking your comments because I'm acknowledging that, I'm, that I've read them and I will further comment if I need to. So your comments, your interactions here are really important to me. I continue to be the sole admin on this page my husband will help out if I need the help but I'm here pretty much all the time um, and it is important to me that um, I interact with you and that I hear your voice and I connect with your gratitude or um, help you help support you if you're struggling it's really really important to me and I noticed a lot of big pages that aren't even nearly as big as mine they people don't tend to do that so you know it is important to me you're important to me so thank you for being here you belong here in this world so please don't give up just hold yourself a bit more gently right now perhaps so today for this guidance I've used my speed of light oracle cards um, these have been completely created by me there's 55 cards in this deck so if you're inspired by them or if you'd like to learn more or start working with them yourself please have a look on my website they're really easy to use they have keywords they've got a guidebook um, and they're very much in alignment with the current energy and truth I mean they will hit hard they will hit the truth oh puss has decided to join in can you see her tail there not sure oh she hears that I'm about to finish and she's come up to say hello so thank you for joining me um, if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button please show us some love please comment or share if you're inspired to and if you'd like to connect more privately just send us a message through our website uh, we have I have my uh, Temple of Balance patrons healing events that's three of them on Tuesday the 17th of April so this Tuesday um, are our big that's our big healing day 
they are public healing events specifically for people specifically for certain patrons so I've got so many people that have signed up for it that I've now created three events and I will do them all day I'll do them all week if that's something that you're drawn to in fact it's only $15 exchange for the month you can just stay for a month or you can hang around for a while and I connect with you personally you're also included in our pillar of light family which means you're really only paying or exchanging five dollars to be in this healing event so it's not too late to join have a look on my website under family and the patreon um, tab so we'll be doing that on Tuesday in my temple of balance closed group anyone can join in but I'll be uh, specifically focusing on certain people so looking forward to connecting with you if you're one of those 20 odd people I'll be connecting with um, so thank you if you want to learn more about the work that I do please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au if you resonate with my work and my way my thoughts then you may find some uh, great resources on my website so thank you for joining me today I trust you've enjoyed our time together um, I'm feeling deep gratitude for you and deep gratitude for this space and a deep sense of love so thank you for helping um, create and generate this space with me so sending you lots of love from my heart to yours lots of love from Tasmania Australia have a fantastic weekend and I will connect with you again soon so thank you so much and namaste so namaste means that the divine, the creator within me, who I am, my essence, acknowledges and loves and is one with the divine, the creator within you, that we are one. So thank you for being who you are. You belong here. You are loved. You are supported. Don't give up. Namaste. Thank you.